Hey YouTube, what's going on? Bill here from Plus Guys Gaming, back at it again with another dueling book rated commentary matchup for you today. In today's matchup, we have in J. Cody 205 over 2932 going up against Shannon 23 645 over 11,831. Let's get into today's duel. Alright, we got NJ Cody winning the rock, paper, scissors, choosing to go first. Your opening hands for this contest are part of duality, along with through wanderies in the dreaming town, part of prosperity, Robina, and cross out. So for the first time on this channel, we're going to have the new deck for wanderies. Up here we have cross out designator. Elemental Hero Solid Soldier, Vision Hero Increase, Max Change, and P -p 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 Poly. Let's go. Pot of Prosperity coming down. He's going to banish six. And it doesn't really matter what he banishes. But he's going to banish six. And he's going to reveal one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what he got. Mega Monarch. Got Ryza. Stree. Robina, A the Apex Predator, Book of Moon, and the Magnificent Map. I think he's definitely going to take that map. Yes, he is. The rest goes to the bottom of the deck. And we're going to activate Pot, because why not? One, two, three. Um, we got Ash Blossom, Tokan, and... Terraforming. Do you take the Ash Blossom here? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And there we go. Map, Robina, full combo. Now, if you don't know what this deck does or what's going on, since this is the first time it's on this channel, I guess I can explain some stuff. So, map effect is he can reveal a full Wanderies monster in his hand, and if he does, Banish one for Wanderies card with a different name from the deck. And then immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon the revealed monster. Also, when your opponent normal summons a monster, you can immediately normal summon one for Wanderies monster. And of course, you can only use each effect once per turn. So he's going to use the map, reveal the Robina, banish something else, Eaglin, and he's going to summon Robina. Now, what Robina's effect is, it allows him on the normal summon to add one level four lower Wing Beast Monster from the deck to the hand. And then after that, he can immediately after that, he can normal summon one Wing Beast Monster. And um, there's a little neat interaction here because when a Wing Beast Monster is summoned, and they all have this effect that I'm about to tell you, they all have this effect that says. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. If a Wing Beast monster is normal summoned to your field while this card is banished, you can add this card to your hand. Alright? So we go normal summon and we do chain link one Robina, chain link two Eaglin. That way you um block out any ash blossoms, you chain block the ash blossoms or whatever. It's gonna get the Eaglin back to the hand and Robina's gonna search for the barrier statue. Eaglin comes out. Now what he does is pretty much he searches for a level 7 or higher Winged Beast Monster on the normal summon. And there's Impen. Big Penguin Daddy. He's about to come out because he also has an additional normal summon from Eaglin immediately after the reset resolves, just like Robina. Now we're going to do Chainlink 1 Impen, Chainlink 2 Robin. So Robina's going to come back to the hand, and Impen's going to search for a spell or a trap. And while it's on the field, by the way, it's a walking skill drain pretty much. Um, actually, your opponent can't even activate effects of special summon monsters that they control in attack position. And as if that wasn't enough, if you battle with this card, you can banish a wing beast? Oh, you can banish a card from your hand. And you're basically going to cut your opponent's attack and defense in half. 
until the end of the turn. And that's a quick effect. So we're going to keep going. He searches for the uh, Unexplored Winds, which is a really good card. And he's, he's going to get that additional normal summon from the Penguin to summon the Barrier Statue. He has his whole board set up. Yeah, <laughs> one, there's nothing you can really do about this. Like, this is just the ultimate inboard. He even has to cross out just in case. He even has Ash and Robina for next turn. So there's really no getting out of this. I mean, yeah, sure, he can Lightning Storm if he had it. But um, with his hand, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see what he does. He's going to E-Call, and he's going to chain the um, cross out. <laughs> and then we're going to have... Okay, well, we're just going to go into game two. So NJ Cody winning with that hand, that setup, Wind Barrier Statue. Not really much heroes can do. We're going to go right into game two. But before we do, I want to remind you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to remind you guys later. And thank you for supporting us so far because we just hit 200 subscribers this past week. Anyways, game two. We have NJ Cody going second now, so up here we have Max Change, Polymerization, Miracle Fusion, Vision Hero Increase, and Vision Hero Ferris. Down here we have Impen, Imperm, Terraforming, Dream Town, and the map. Main phase one, he's going to go off, or he's going to do his little hero plays. Hero's been out for a long time, so I probably won't go over that because I don't really know the whole combo like that. But he did try to imperm his monster, and it was uh, pretty much not imperm because he chained Mass Change, turning it into Dark Law. And then Increase is going to get rid of Dark Law to summon itself from the Spell and Trap card zone. And then it's going to special summon who is that? Mask Hero Vaughn is going to activate the effect of that to send a hero monster from the deck to the grave. It's going to send uh, Mask Shadow Law, that's his name? Shadow Mist. <laughs> it's going to add Malicious to his hand. It's going to use the second effect to add a polymerization from the deck to the hand. He adds Fusion Substitute. Car's name is always treated as polymerization. There's the poly. And here is dangerous. That guy is pretty dangerous, but he has a Malian Grave now, so he might look to use that sooner or later. Anyway, he's going to link into Cross Crusader and bring back the dangerous guy. And he's going to tribute the dangerous guy to add a hero monster with a different name. There's Liquid Soldier. Malicious. Summons Malicious. And then we have a normal summon of Liquid Soldier. Did he already normal summon? Was that a special summon? Hold on. Did he normal summon it twice? I'm lost. You know what? We just gonna roll with it. <laughs> but here comes Shadow Mist again, and then the Fusion Substitute, which is a polymerization. So I'm gonna fuse into Sunrise, and we're gonna get uh, Shadow Mist effect as well. No, not Shadow Mist. We're gonna get Liquid Soldier effect as well as Sunrise. So we're gonna add. And that Miracle Fusion. Okay, he's not going to do it. He says just Liquid, actually, because he only plays one Miracle Fusion. He's going to draw two. He's going to draw the Fusion Destiny and Dynatag. Sheesh, Fusion Destiny. Are we going to see it? He's going to use the effect of Fusion Substitute. He's going to draw into... Uh, Honest Neos, which is pretty much honest for heroes. I don't know why they gave him that card, but whatever. 
extra hero one the driver is here and here's a miracle fusion banishing liquid and Vaughn to summon ab zero I'm gonna use the effect of one the driver I'm gonna get max change and set it yep it's gonna set max change from the grave and it's gonna activate fusion destiny Hmm. Plasma and Denier. And here's the new guy on the block. Phoenix Enforcer. Then we're going to link into Dread Demand. Disseminator. Decimator. Bro. Listen, it's 6 a.m. All right. <laughs> Denier is here. Mally is back in the deck. Then he's gonna use Melly again to summon it. And we're just gonna go in the game. Oh no, we're gonna pass. He drew into Street and he's gonna activate the map. Let's see how he gets over this board. That face down is a mass change, by the way. We're gonna see what he does. And Jay Cody's gonna activate map, activate the effect of map, and it's gonna be chained to by Phoenix Phoenix Enforcer. It's gonna pop itself and the map. Then activate its effect from the grave, which basically says it could special summon itself. Well, special summon one Destiny Hero monster from the graveyard during the next standby phase. Usually, it special summons itself. Okay, we're just going to go to game two now. I'm going to remind you guys to like, comment, subscribe, ding the notification bell so you can tune in to more of our content. Oh, and by the way, if you're out there dueling on dueling book you know getting some duels in and you get some some kind of duel that you want to see on this channel send it in the email link is in the description below also join our discord because why not we're a Yu-Gi-Oh community you know we're gonna do some Yu-Gi-Oh things together and we want to take you along for the ride so join the discord Link is in the description. And if you have a replay you want on this channel, send it in. Email is in the description as well. Don't forget to check out our TCG player link in the description as well. And let's go to game number three. NG going first. Opening hands. We have Duality, Stream, Cross Out, Joyous Spring, and Ash Blossom, and Robita. Up here we have Vaughn. A hero lives, max change, miracle fusion, and twin twisters. Mm. Pot is going to reveal. Ooh, harpy, D shifter, and ash. Oof! He takes the harpy's fetish storm. It's about to get real. He's gonna summon Albina. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to the deck. <laughs> Um, there's the Eagle. Eagle. I think uh, NJ was just excited about what he's about to do to his opponent, you know? <laughs> he has the Impin, and he's going to Tribute Summon it. He's going to get the Eaglin back, as well, uh, as well as an Ad. Oh, my bad. He gets the Rabina back. Oh, he's going to get both of them back, actually. He chooses to get both of them. Because you could choose to get one or the other, or both. It's going to add the trap. Yeah, it ain't looking too good for his opponent. This, this trap card does things. Oh. I mean... It ain't really nothing he could have done because this trap card says you control a win. A win, win beast monster until the end of this turn again any monster effect your opponent activates. They, they kind of shut down a deck like Hero. So, uh... And then, and then he had the trap card which allows him to normal summon on his turn. So, he could have went into Mega Ryza, the Apex Predator, 
whatever he wanted. And then the cross all that's there, because why not? But uh yeah, that was a duel. Tell us what you think about it in the comment section down below. Thank you for supporting us so far. 200 subscribers and counting. So let's keep the momentum moving. Like I said, if you want to send in a replay, the link is in the description. If you want to join our Discord, that link is in the description as well. Tune in to the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, ding that notification bell. I'm Dale from Plus Best Gaming. Turn it.